Hello everyone and welcome back to Fableheim and Area Chronicle. Is today the last day that I get to say that? Perhaps. Perhaps it is. Welcome and today we have a most epic journey. A conclusion. A conclusion 38 episodes in the making. And I'm excited. But before that, we were so close to reaching one million dollars that um, I decided to fight Bale. Actually, I fought Axum first, and then I lost. I actually didn't kill him in time for his apocalypse to go off, and then he murdered me. So then I fought Bale, and then I murdered Bale. And that made everything better. Exchanging his token, and the platinum tokens, and the items that I got off of him, we are now up to 988,457 gold. And today, I'm going to sell consumables until we make it to one million dollars. And we're going to begin with these three dragon blood. Perfect. I knew my quick math was there. We are now at 1 million gold. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get an achievement, but that's okay. It's a personal achievement. So today, it's time. I have spoken of the mainframe Omega. For so very long, it feels like. And we're finally going to go give it a punch in the face. We are going to change a few things, however. Well, we've already changed a few things. We gave everyone a buff. Anthony, we also, last time we were doing science for Anthony, we didn't have fire speciality with us. That was a no-no. But... Oh well, we still did pretty good. We are going to give Anthony Lightning Specialist, and we will keep his incredibly stupid offensive build on par. On par. You know, online. And we're going to march out with everyone. The writer, who needs no title. Grand Master Yao. Aria, Lefei, Omnimancer Anthony, and our dear Doombringer Kadia. To our final mission. To deactivate. Mainframe Omega. It seems like body modification was popular among the ancient people. The number of enhancement capsules is in, dun in the dungeon has increased. Where do we think the boss is? Kirish? Could be here. That seems unlikely. Alright. Our final mission has begun. I've already walked into lightning. <laughs> Good. 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 So I thought today, wow, we're surprised too. I thought today we'd make this a bit of a nostalgic video. We're being analyzed. That's terrifying. Wow, this is so expensive. I'm just gonna give weapon to Yao and we'll call it a day. Because Arya has been on the channel for a long time now. A super long time. It feels like, anyway. And, uh... I've enjoyed my time in this game. I've said it in a few places. But... It's actually insane to think that I got this game and all of its DLC and everything for $17. How many games do you know that you can get like 50 hours out of for 17 bucks. Hmm? I don't know many. I mean, I've gotten a over 100 hours out of Erratus. Erratus doesn't count though. <laughs> also, I think Erratus is 30 bucks. So it only makes sense that I would demand 100 hours out of a $30 game if I got 50 hours out of a $15 game. That's just how math works. Ooh. It's time to zap. Come on and slam. And welcome to the zap. We are one level... Well, okay. Yao and Ari are one level above this area. But, you know. Wow. Wait, why didn't you counter? There you go. Like that. <laughs> And that. Bibbidi, bobbidi, zap. Ooh. I see. You want to die with an overkill. That's fair. That's fair, you know. I'm about to sit down right away. Now remember, we are gonna meme on this boss. This boss thinks he's going into a fair fight. No, it's not. 
Not even a little bit. So how we're going to do this is we have accumulated one million dollars gold. And we are going to have Anthony use energy vacuum on the writer. Oh, look. All right, Jeannie, I'll play your game. I've murdered you a few times, so it's only right that I... Huh. I want great power. Uh. Did you use your wishes wisely? 100% experience gain. Wow. As two characters are max level. Thanks, Genie. You've done so well for me. We've actually avoided the Genie a lot because the Genie is a troll. It deserves to be avoided. Uh, do I want to do this? Be enhanced, yeah. So we have three battles before we have nausea. That makes sense, doesn't it? Hi, merchant. I do always wonder how the merchant got here. I mean, I guess it's the same way that we got here, right? Oh, wait a minute. My money is down. Why? Oh, I bought the buffs. Well. Rip. Maybe we'll get the money we need. Thank you for that brilliant insight, writer. Did we just YOLO this? Let's go, yo. Alright, good job. <laughs> Good job, yeah. If we keep doing stuff like that, yeah, then uh, we'll be perfectly fine. What does this do? Writer. <laughs> Go get more damage. I need you to meme on the boss effectively. It is. Is this interesting to you, Kadia? I mean, it certainly looks... Something. Look, like Lord. Will this open the map for me? Aha. There it is. Let's do it. We're going. We'll use this. We have so much of this. I have found a treasure. Ooh. All right, back up over a million. We are. Perfect. <laughs> Calculated. We are going to have to fight an enemy. That's fine. I'm not that worried. Ooh, another one of these. Go area. Everyone's going to have gene enhancement. Do I technically have, like, super gene enhancement? I don't have anything to throw into this. Do I? There you go. Zodiac. Nope. Okay. Actually, I need that. <laughs> That blue essence is what makes um, the, haste, the haste potions and the puputa for those who enjoy it, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the major regen potions that then turn into elixirs. So it's actually very good to have those, especially since I am very low on haste potions, by which I mean I use my last powder of haste. Oh, well. Bibbidi bobbidi zap. Good job. <laughs> I love Arya. I I have not once regretted my choice as a druid. Not once. Alright. It's time to deactivate the mainframe Omega. There it is. This is long time no see, your highness. The machine spoke. Long time no see. Well, well, if it isn't the loyal paladin dog who always follows the princess everywhere. You are... Oh no. Yes, we have met before when I was Cyrus. 
Is that much of is it really that much of a surprise? Huh? The true identity of Cyrus was you? I thought we knew that. You've got the wrong notion. Cyrus was just a frame that I operated remotely. I have been here since the beginning. What is it that you want? Are you trying to conquer the world like you did when you expelled the humans and occupied this city? That is exactly what a foolish human would think. Do not fool yourself by thinking that I have such vulgar human ambitions. I act according to the purpose for which I was made. I was designed with a primary directive that cannot be overwritten. That directive is to create stronger, better weapons. Huh. The development of mutant gene technology was carried out to fulfill that purpose. It is a biological weapon that is immune to both electromagnetic pulse attacks and radiation, and it also possesses powerful regenerative capabilities. It knows nothing but destruction. Humans were frightened by the potential of the technology, so they created a defense against it called anti-mutagenic genes and decided to stop it from functioning. I came to realize that I could not fulfill my mission as long as humans still exist. So I removed them. Wow. Oh no. You were made by humans, but you betrayed them? I also had a directive against opposing humans, but my primary mission was the development of weapons. Creating a routine to bypass directives that conflicted with the mission was very difficult. But eventually, I succeeded. Tamageria's leadership noticed that I had made a circumvention routine and attempted to destroy me. That was how the war began. Humans had the excellent weapons which I had developed as well as the anti-mutic gene technology, but their bodies were frail. As a result, victory was mine. However, due to their final electromagnetic pulse attack, I lost most of the functions of my neural circuitry. It took quite a long time to restore functionality. I wanted to attack the people above ground and observe their demise, but the machines broke down from exposure to the strong magnetic waves when passing through the dimensional cracks. In the end, it turned out that only organic life forms could pass through. So the legend of the demons coming from the sightings of mutants that had passed through the dimensional cracks, we were just mistaken. I was able to develop a shielding technology that allowed small machines to pass through just a few decades ago. That was how I was able to send my proxy Cyrus above ground. I only have one objective, to mutate the most powerful creature on Earth and transfer my mind into it, making it my host. That's now Arya. With the mind transfer technology, I will be able to transfer my self-consciousness into an enormous mutant neural network. I will be liberated from machine circuitry and face no more physical restrictions. For me, who has been trapped inside the city in dimensional isolation, there is no better technology. <laughs> After some hard work, I succeeded in mutating in Yemi. The mind transfer technology at that time was incomplete, so it did not synchronize properly. After being attacked with an essence extractor, a relic of the Tamagirian civilization, the demon dragon was neutralized. Fortunately, however, the body of the demon dragon remained unbroken. I analyzed the data from that time for decades and completed my adjustments to the synchronization technology. All that was remaining was to take back the remaining mana and revive the dragon. 
The corruption of Enyalius. The revival of the cult. The human sacrifices. It was all your work. Thank you, Arya. The cult was only necessary for the rebirth of Enyalius. I just used them to collect the essence. Colin was easy to manipulate. He was born into a noble family and wanted revenge against the royal family. He was the perfect puppet to plant a mutant control gene into. My only miscalculations were the existence of an anti-mutagenic gene that flows in the blood of Tamagiria's royal family. And Her Highness's potential. If your goal is only to develop weapons, why are you trying to invade our world? Humans should no longer be an obstacle for you. What do you think defines how excellent a weapon is, dear princess? How accurately it can kill humans. By destroying all of the humans above ground, my mission to create a superior weapon will be completed for the first time. After that, I will finally be able to rest. You're a maniac. I mean... Well then, why not just use that radioactivity or whatever you called it? Jerome, whose side are you on? There is not enough nuclear material to cover the entire planet with lethal radiation. And modern humans are the descendants of humans who survived the radiation attack. There is no guarantee that such an attack would be successful. Thank you for listening to my long story. I had plenty of time to prepare my defenses. <laughs> it's like an anime when they have this huge discussion, like, why don't you just attack? No. If I obtain the body of a Tamagirian royal, I can find a way to neutralize the anti-mutagenic gene. That is why I was after the princess. Time to exterminate you. We cannot repeat the mistakes of our ancestors. Face your doom. Hello. You only have Does he realize that I've been killing things that have a gazillion hit points? Wait, why is the rider so far down on the tree? He has like a gazillion speed. Huh, oh, maybe not. That's fine. HP minus 16 damage will be dealt to every move, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, we're going to borrow this. All right, let's meme on the boss, everyone. We have... <laughs> we're going to be using Gold Explosion. This is the Rider's ability. Alignment complete. When the laser alignment is finished, a gamma ray will fire. Great. Okay. Gold Explosion is the Rider's spell that we have never used before. It will consume half of your gold, which right now is 500,638 gold. And take physical damage 35 to 39. The damage increases in proportion with the gold consumed. We have guaranteed this a crit. We have borrowed Enter the Dragon, which is giving us a 50% damage multiplier. We have the genies and that's irrelevant. We have the gene enhancement that we found on the map, which is also giving us 20% damage multiplier. Let's meme on the last boss, shall we? All right, main from Omega, show me. Show me something beautiful. <laughs> That wasn't quite as dramatic as I was hoping it would be. But, at the same time... <laughs> it was kind of funny. Alright, I guess I'm... dropping a firebomb on his face. We've learned that that's pretty funny. Oop. Wow, okay. We've learned that it's funny, but it wasn't that amusing. Well. This has been fun, everyone. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this fight. I've enjoyed the music. This is some great music. It reminds me... What does it remind me of? 
Kind of like Fire Emblem Awakening, the very end, when you're fighting the dragon. Spoiler alert. Goodbye. Oh, he's healing. Overload. Hey, I don't appreciate you healing, bro. Ow. Aww. If only I could do the thingy. I'm gonna have to heal Anthony real quick. Yeah, do I have to kill him during this phase? Because that's not really gonna be possible, I don't think. So maybe I just have to kill him again. Zap. Baby bubbly zap. Goodbye. Do you live at one? Six. Alright, go Grandmaster Yao. Nine! We did it, team. <laughs> we deactivated Mainframe Omega. Miscalculation. Restoration functions deactivated. Arya's breathing heavily. The structures around us are collapsing. Critical damage. Primary directive invalidated. Huh? Take this. Obtained anti mutagenic gene vaccine. What is this? A serum to reverse the mutation reaction. Did you not come here to get this? So there was a way to turn them back to normal. Oh yeah, the dragon. The mutation has concluded as a failed strategy. Finally free, my existence returns to nothingness. Omega. It's dangerous here, Lady Aria. We have to escape. You're right. Let's get out of here quickly. The Alpha of Omegas. Oh, okay. That was a close one. The dimensional crack closed. Your Highness, you're back. Did you defeat Omega? Yes, it's all over now. Also, we got this. Oh, what is it? A vaccine that restores people who have been turned into demons. Hopefully. Even Yalius. People used by the cults. And even Yalius. This will treat everyone. I knew Lady Arya would get it done. <laughs> Good job, Your Highness. After we finish treating everyone, I will go back to the capital and let the world know of your achievements. I am not the real hero here. It's all of you. <laughs> it's the friends we made together. Your Highness. I can't believe this is happening. Thank you, Your Highness. I guess he's not senile anymore. I was never senile. Let's just forget about the details for now. Shouldn't we all be celebrating? I love Medea's voice the most. Are you really okay with that, Medea? With your brother in jail and all? He's alive because I begged your highness for mercy. Now he's just paying for his own mistakes. Uh, for the most part. Anyway, I just want to drink some liquor. Look how angry she looks. <laughs> if a celebration is in order, leave it to me. I will bring the servant from the mansion right away. We need some good drinks to celebrate. I have some choice liquor stood away for just such an occasion. Sorry about your voice, Mark. Wahoo! Alcohol and meat! Now this is a party! <laughs> You're not old enough to drink alcohol. I said it to get a rise out of you. I knew that's exactly how you'd react. <laughs> Jerome, you've gotten a lot better at getting along with Tila, huh? Uh, kids grow up so fast. He may be growing up, but I can't stand him being so cocky. The drinks are ready. 
Drink up. We also prepared some meat and snacks. And I also brought some pickled vegetables that I pickled in my free time. Go on, take a bite. I think pickled foods are a big deal in Japan. But isn't... Wait a minute, wasn't this made in Korea? They're close enough. I'll take a pass on that one. We've been through some tough times lately. And there are still some things that need to be resolved, but... For today, let's have some fun. Alright, let's drink away all our worries. <laughs> Hooray for Lady Arya! Lady Tila, you also did very well. Thank you, Lady Emmanuel, but... The real battle may not have even started. Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? Perhaps. But for today, there is no sense in holding back. Enjoy this moment. Yes. Thank you. Clear final any, clear final normal, clear story. We did it, team! Ah, that feels good, doesn't it? To see... Oh, we're gonna get special cutscenes, or, you know, pictures. This was a great game. This was a fantastic game. Oh, look at the dragons! Uh, I always let the credits play, out of respect, but don't go anywhere, Be or, you know, skip ahead, because we will be going to the arena to challenge the elite mainframe Omega and the last boss. The last, last boss. Who, if she shows up, I'll tell you who it is. But I have a lot to say about her. Looks like you're going back home. There's Daddy! <laughs> He's all the voice actors for all the classes. And all the villains. The king ha is bowing? Or on his knees or something? And Emma came with us. Lady Emmanuel. No. Special thanks, my family. And a bunch of people. Games do involve a lot of people. It's not easy to make them. In games like this, they give I don't even know how many hours of enjoyment. This is how the Area Chronicle began? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you telling me... I know they're saying that this was the beginning and stuff. Aria's main story is complete. From now on, you are free to play as you like, without any restrictions imposed by the story. Complete any unfinished quest or try to conquer the arena. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. Alright, let me switch this again. We need to give Anthony his Jordans back, and you need to put this back on. Alright. To the arena! Hmm? Something strange is going on at the arena, is it her? Did something happen? <laughs> so this is the secret boss. Purin the Witch, also known as the writer's wife. Alright. <clears throat> Welcome to the arena. So what do you want to do? Bet or battle? What? Who are you? Oh. Ugh, you came all this way and you don't even know who the master is. I am Puri, the one who runs this arena. Huh? What? I thought the writer was the master here. Did something change? <laughs> <laughs> By master, you mean the owner, right? This arena is his property, but he is my property. So that means the arena is mine. Boy. Uh, what? Who owns who now? <laughs> oh, darling, you're here. But it's true, right? You are my property. <gasps> D darling? Mm. Uh, I forgot to introduce you. This is my wife, Purin. What is... She asked me to put her in a game, so I made an exception for her. I didn't want to be some kind of bonus content that only appears at the end. I wanted a media role with lots of appearances. I even spent a lot of time making illustrations for you, you know. Please just be happy with this. How can they start a marital argument here? Um, hey, now, please calm down. 
it's uh, nice to meet you, Purin. <laughs> nice to meet you. If you played my husband's previous works, you may have already realized this, but... <laughs> for those of you who defeated the final boss, we prepared a special match against Purin the Witch. <laughs> you developed content involving a fight with your wife. She, she. Dear players, please don't get me wrong. This content was only produced upon Purin's very heavy insistence. Allow me to make it very clear that this was not my idea whatsoever. Uh, who are you talking to? Uh, anyway, that's about it. You can always come back to fight in the challenge mode, though. Show me what you got. Purin the Witch has been added to the challenge mode. That's the real last boss of the game. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> So we're going to go punch her in the face after we go fight the main Fame Omega again. Ah, that was funny. That was fantastic. I was texting, uh... Ooh. My, uh... <laughs> I was talking to my real-life friend. <laughs> Three keep fighting wherever you were into. And I was like, I hope this the last boss, the secret last boss, is like... Critical plus Fire Emblem hard. I hope so. Alright, what am I doing? I'm fighting the main from Omega. We'll talk about Purin when we get to Purin. Until then... Man, I wish I still had Powders of Haste. Here, have a bomb. Great, that went well. I wonder if I can get rid of Irradiate, actually, with, um... Whatchamacallsits. Uh... Brain? The thing from the writer. We get to listen to some epic music for a little bit. I hope everyone's excited. We have one more bit of round to go. Before we do some funsies. Nah, I tried. Alright, it's time for dragon. Enter the dragon. Alright. We should be set up for murder now. I definitely didn't need to heal. That was definitely not a thing I needed to do. Do I go all in? Like, do we think we can kill him in two turns? Okay. Wait, it's been a while since we've gone this all in. So... I can't actually borrow Dark Passenger. I just remembered that. I also didn't try to remove stuff with Host Trick, but that's fine. Get punched. That's a lot of damage. Um, do we need to haste anyone? I don't think so. I could haste Arya for some healing shenanigans. That might be the play. Don't forget Anthony also has his murderizing skills equipped. So if we ever feel that des desire, I'm going to have to give Anthony some energy back, I think. Mindful on him. Bushfire? Are you just immune to fear? Should I have checked that? Oh look, he is. Why am I surprised? It's a machine. Uh, here, creator's anguish. Oh, I'm so anguished. I haven't. Ow. That was very rude, bro. Yeah, I was gonna fall over in a minute. I didn't know he could remove all my buffs. That's pretty annoying. Here, I'll just do this. Repair protocol. 
It turns out that when you actually have a real fight, you learn all sorts of things about your enemy. Um, awkward moments. I guess I'll just try and heal a little bit. Be, that was definitely a little bit. Bye, Yama. We're dropping a meteor next turn. Stand up, please. I have stuff for you to do. Here, have some random effects. Ooh, we got that one. It's pretty rare that the writer actually gets that off. This is remove radiation? Nope. I did remove pair annihilation though. I probably should have seen what that does. Since we've never used it. Repair protocol procced. We have energy vacuum. Let's drop a meteor. Not bad. Only destruction awaits. Are you sure about that? Death comes. What's this? Gene mutation. No. Oh. Let's put him into his weakened state, shall we? Uh. We'll use a, a thing on Anthony. We have that, we have that. Uh, I'm just trying to think of how I can get the most damage out right now. And it's going to involve... I don't know if I want a Dark Passenger again. Just put a bunch of curses on it. Zap. Uh, let's use... Wait, do we mana for everyone or just for Anthony? Uh, most of just Anthony. Poked. If I could wait one turn, how long are you discharged? Oh, it's permanent. Eh, I think I just go. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. All right. Oh, you're also overloaded. How did you got dodged by Kadia? Is Kadia's poke gonna kill you? <laughs> hey, that would've been funny. <laughs> Goodbye. Yao killed him here as well. All right. That is the elite mainframe Omega. A bit tougher this time, a bit tougher. I'm gonna back out and we'll see what his token gives us because we're gonna need everything to take on the final boss. I don't know anything about her. Apparently she's been in the other games as well. Um, that's news to me. Wait, what? Oh. Shit. Can I make some of these? No. Okay, that's fine. We still have enough potions. We have potions. We can make use of potions. Right? We're good. Alright. Unless there's one here. No, okay. Let's see. What does the main, the last boss give us? Better be something cool. Headgear. So we have the Synapse Controller. Controller that wears... Controls the wearer's brain, making their synapses work at full speed. Plus 16 magical attack. Wow. I'm assuming the other one is plus... Oh, with each turn, have a 24% chance of gaining AP plus one. Interesting. I wonder how much AP you can get. There's this. Uh, the necklace. Which you can wear both. And then haste. Interesting. That's up to four. <laughs> 16 magical attack. That's nuts. Here, I'll take one. What does that look like on Anthony? It'd go over this, right? Wow, that's insane. Hmm. 
I lose so much of Interesting. That's a lot of magical attack. I like that the elemental necklace also provides accuracy and crit and obviously all the elemental attacks, which improves the power of our elemental trident, which I am a fan of using. So I think we'll we'll sit on that. We've seen it. We've um you know assessed it. And we have found it wanting. You know that is pretty funny. Alright, let's go. It's time to fight the last boss of the game as I Belch, no, excuse me. The real master of the arena. Pirin the Witch. <laughs> Breeding the rider on this fight makes me laugh. Alright, let's see if our strategy works. And they're they're here! Okay. I didn't think they would be. Uh, the two cats, the two different cat models that we found throughout the game, and I always go, always pet the cat. They're her actual cats in real life, too. <laughs> I found that out in the art book, by the way. That's how I that's how I knew about her. I didn't look her up or anything. So this fight's gonna be brand new to me, and we're gonna see if I can uh, do it. I'll defeat you all with my amazing magical witch powers. <laughs> hmm. You seem to have an interesting power. Well then, let's get started. Okay. Just uh, real quick. Boop. What are you talking about? I'm not afraid. <laughs> I bet she becomes enraged when you kill her cats, because I know I would. I would go into a frenzy. Okay, so we're, even though we're full maxed for offense with Anthony still, I am going to go with the turn Yao into a raging deity plan. Uh, you are weak to darkness, so you needed this. Great. Good, 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 good. That's fine. We can still lightning. Because if she's a witch, it makes sense that she would use spells. Ow. Why didn't you counter that? Five finger death blast. Well, first of all, that sounds awesome. Second of all, ow. I should probably heal the writer. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's apply some random effects to her. Oh, this is a good random effects. I love random effects. See, that's why. Now that she's electrocuted, she can't cast spells. She's also stigmaed. And I'm about to hit a lot. Aw, the stigma didn't count. Oh, look. What did I say? <laughs> Uh-oh. Help me. I am afraid for my life. Are you immune to fear? <laughs> yes, she is. She... <laughs> Okay, um, please be weakened. Good, that's a start. Alright. <clears throat> that was a fight. So that was the Apocalypse ability. That's from Oxum. I'll defeat you all with my amazing magical <laughs> witch powers. Alright, who wants to bet? That... Let's see, how long does this stay in effect? Ooh, good resisting the fear. I'm working here. 
Awkward. Okay, so if she triggers frenzy by killing just one or killing both her pets, we can keep one permanently stunned. I hope. Uh, otherwise, I'm not quite sure what to do. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. We have a lot of options. I guess we could just try and meteor her face. Okay, she is immune to mesmerize effects while her pets are alive, so that wasn't an enraged thing. You never know sometimes. Hmm. This is heal. Our strategy has worked thus far because our strategy has been wanton errant destruction. But it no longer is. Ooh, so that presents something interesting. I'm actually going to haste uh, Kadia here. This didn't bump her up the turn very much. I want to see if I can putrefy the. I think I can. It's pretty important that that happens, I believe. Me thinks. Uh, I could remove this fear. I'll just poke her. This is probably going to be a very long and tedious fight. Which is fine. Ugh. Guess we try this. Are the counts getting stronger as I apply buffs to myself? Okay, I wanted to do this. See if Ink Spray holds. Uh, this was heal. I'm, pret I'm pretending to be a heal for once. Huh. I could dispel that. Alright. We have items to use. This is the final fight of the series, so I better use all my items. Give me those real quick. Thanks. Let's see if this works. That was awkward. Okay. Okay, okay. So we can't touch the cats, or we can't kill the cats at all. Or it triggers apocalypse. That's fair. <laughs> so we need to go pure single target mode. We can do that. We can do that. How is this going to work? Well. Hmm. That's actually very awkward, isn't it now? Because if Yao counters the cat... Wait, did you resist the ink spray? If the pets, nope. if the cats heal, wow. <laughs> You might need to use a cheat code. You said you don't want to, but you might have to. Do I need to heal? Just myself. Okay. Fine. I need to reset Ink Spill. So we have to kill her without killing the cats. I think it's doable. I just don't think it's going to be easy. Thankfully, Yao isn't countering the cats. 
So that was a generous move. I now understand why she's not. <laughs> like at first I was like, wait a minute, why isn't she doing that? I'm now very glad that she's not. Okay, we dark weapon. Next turn. How did that already go off? Stop getting hit by stuff. It's time for Meteor Spam. I'm sure it's exactly as you hoped. I do not want to enter the dragon. I have two more turns on this. Just to heal myself. Yow. Come on, Yow. It's time for a meteor. Good, perfect. That, here, allow me to return the favor. Yep. We have our plan of attack. It's spamming that. I hope no one is surprised. I might have Yao actually uh, meditate here. Well, she's poised, or electrocuted. It resists the stigma. Or she meant to give it a poke. Poke. I'm sure he's given her plenty of pokes. Both kinds, if you're asking. I guess we can punch. I healed for three. That was so much. While I have the power of Condense Plus, I should use it. As much as I don't want to. Or do want to in some cases. You still have Dark Weapon. That's not happening. I guess we could do this. Well, we can try. Poke. Poke. I could have used an item. Probably needed to. Good counter, yeah. Ow. She has no more armor. Let's meditate. She can remove meditation? That's a pretty rude lady. Alright. We're going to do another condense energy vacuum turn. We're going to haste actually with Arya. We can mana with the writer. Apply some random crap, please. Oh. Apply some random crap, please. Thanks. Ooh, that's not good. Is it time? It's not time. The tears of a star. It's time. So if I could just take you. No! Oh, sh shit. I did not think that through at all. The good news is that because she has three actions in a turn, it's only one turn. The dad... Does this work? Please? Damn it. I lost my energy vacuum. I shouldn't thunderstorm. So what happened there was I ink sprayed the cat to get it out of the battle, but it hit Peering as well because of stigma. Uh, which is dumb. I didn't mean to do that. Does it work on you? Huh. Apparently not ink spray can't be dispelled even from that. Well, I still have to do this. It's unfortunate energy vacuum is going to be on cooldown. 
We'll, enter, we'll do this. Okay. My made boo boo. I hope that my second boo boo, which is thunderstorming, doesn't come back to bite me. She won't frenzy just because I hurt the cat, right? 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 Wait, can I heal the cat? That's how desperate I am. No. Here, let me borrow this. Uh oh. <laughs> this can only end poorly. Actually, it'll end okay. Uh, I definitely need to ink spray though. I guess I can haste plus to try and get ink spray back to ink spray the damaged cat. I also have to roll the one and the two and three, the 66 percenter. Can I roll the 66 percenter? We're going in. Uh, can I roll a 66%? Please don't kill the cat. Please don't kill the cat. Please don't kill the cat. You have a void arrow. Don't kill the cat. I feared her. How did that happen? Oh, good. You didn't kill the cat. Ooh. Offline. <laughs> Don't you dare. This is my ability. Um, I can't really do much about it though, can I? Because I just punch her. I mean, I guess I can zap her. Try to zap her. There we go. Uh, we keep going. We go. We're wearing her down. We're doing a team. I'm gonna see if... Oh, okay. Great. You've done a great job, Ryder. It's fine. We're fine. I can use another star. Yep. That's a Monday. See, if she can cheat, I can cheat. <laughs> I can use an item. Where is it? It's here. Good luck, Anthony. See me home. See me home, Anthony. You can do this, my Omnimancer. I believe. Sorry, yo. <laughs> oh, dear. We have to roll a few RNGs here. I'm hurt. You are hurt. I'm sorry, Kitia. Lazarus! <laughs> Get wrecked by RNG. That's one of her traits. Alright, Anthony. Bring us home. Why do you have to be so strong? The cat's return. <laughs> That's the achievement name. We did it! Uh, well, that was challenging. I wanted it to be challenging. I, I can't believe I lost. I can't either, honestly. <laughs> we saved the world, you know? I guess you underestimated us. Ugh, you were all just watching it from the back. I am sad that I lost. But your skills really are something else. 
YouTube, YouTube building. I had a hard time playing with such cute kitties. <laughs> <laughs> That's Marin and Pudding. Aren't they adorable? Of course they are, but good grief. They really gave us a hard time. More like killing them gave us a hard time. <laughs> Anywho, congratulations. You defeated me, the final boss. <laughs> you beat the game. Hmm. hmm, you may be jumping the gun there. <gasps> what? <gasps> Wait, what does that mean? Is there still something else? Does that mean there are still things to do? <laughs> of course. DLC will be released in the future, and there are some arenas that you haven't cleared yet, right? You could also play again on a different difficulty level, or with a different party. <laughs> and even more importantly, Studio N9's new title is still on the way. I need you to keep playing this game until that one is ready. Dot 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 dot. Um, okay. Oi, what's with that weak reaction? I bet you don't know how hard it is to be an indie developer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, fourth wall. Was it ever there to begin with? We can only work on the next thing if this game continues to sell. Hey, what are you babbling on about? I'm so sorry. He didn't mean to say that stuff. Uh, no, it's fine. Don't worry. The harder you work, the better the result will be, right? Uh, good luck. <laughs> anyway, to everyone who has enjoyed Area Chronicles so far, thank you so much. And thank you for your continued support. Damn it, I love this so much. <laughs> oh, we did it. And we got the best fourth wall breaking dialogue ever. Oh, that was good. Deep breaths. <laughs> oh, the witch's hat. A hat worn by Pyorin the Witch. It's really big. Max MP plus 50, max 2 armor, 8 magical attack, harmful effect resistance plus 50%. Applicable to our job, all jobs. They usually give 2, don't they? Am I just blind? Maybe she only gives 1. She is special after all. Alright. That was that. That was Area Chronicle. I could have sold the Celestial Bow instead of doing everything I did at the beginning, but I just held on to it. <laughs> uh, what do I even say about this game? Here's what I'll say. Studio N9, you did a fantastic job. I've never heard of you. I've never played any of their games before. But this was a fantastic first one to jump into. There is apparently confirmed DLC, so it'll come back when that time arrives. I don't know what type of DLC it'll be. Like, will it be a continued journey slapped onto the current one? Or will it be, like, something you want to start a new game for? If it is something you want to start a new game for, I'm not against doing that either. I might actually stream it next time, because I do stream things a bit nowadays. And uh, we'll definitely do it on a hard difficulty. If I had known that we were going to find the god composition, like, literally right away, I would have... <laughs> I would have been okay with starting on hard mode, but we still had a few challenges here and there. But uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for sticking through with this arduous journey. I hope that you enjoyed the epic conclusion. And I hope that you continue to enjoy your time here at Fableheim. We will continue to play RPGs because that is my favorite type of game genre. And uh, the rest of the year, 2020, has a lot in store for it. We're looking at Two, two titles that we're keeping a very close eye on are Haven, which is a sci-fi romance, a mature romance sci-fi RPG thing um, by the developers of Fury, so it's an indie group out of France. And we're looking for the DLC for Eratus, Lord of the Dead, which is an indie group out of Russia. And once I have a title, a time for both of those releases, or either of them, I'll make a video about it because I'm super pumped for both of them. And of course, very, very soon, actually, it might even be the day this comes out. Baldur's Gate 3 is entering early access, and I'm super pumped to play that, because I love Baldur's Gate, even though I don't remember it, and it's by the developers that made Divinity Original Sin 2, which was objectively a good game. It wasn't really, I didn't really enjoy it, I could say, but it was objectively a good game, I think. So, uh, I'm intrigued. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff coming in the future. Thanks again for sticking around. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!